Oh my goodness. So I just filmed my whole empties video, but I wasn't really filming. So I went through explaining all the products and I had zero footage of me explaining those products. So I'm gonna try again. Hopefully this will actually record and it'll work. Okay, so moving into my empties videos, I kind of have to re Replenish myself. Oh dear. Everything's all on the ground now. Okay. Got this. So, the first product is from Tresme. It's the Silk Protein and Collagen Healthy Volume Shampoo. And this is a nice shampoo. It's uh, really good. Leaves my hair smooth. And um, yeah, it's not too much to say about it though. It's not amazing. And I drop things now. <laughs> the next two empties I have are from Aussie. They're the uh, all soft, oh, all soft. They're the moist range, the shampoo and conditioner. And I really love these. Uh, they're really, they add a lot of moisture to your hair. And um, I actually like them a lot better. I'm using the All Soft range now, and I like these a lot better. And they're cheaper. So I think after I'm done with the All Soft, I'm going to go back to this. Um, yeah, so work really well. Ah. And the next product, next empty I have, is actually kind of cheating because this isn't technically empty, but. The towelettes are kind of dried out now and it's really old. I've had this for a while, so it just, I needed to just throw it away. And it's the Yes to Cucumber Soothing Facial Towelettes. And I use this as a makeup remover, uh, but the problem is it's not really good at removing makeup, uh, partly just because it's not moist enough. The towelettes aren't that moist. And I tried storing them upside down, like, um, I've heard some people talk about that it's supposed to be really good to uh, bring the moisture to the uh, pads in the front, but it didn't really do that much to make them that much more moist. So yeah, I'm not a really big fan of this and I will not be repurchasing it. The next empty I have is from Up and Up and it's the Cotton Ovals and they 50 pack and they're the bigger ones. And I like to use this with my toner and I find that it's, since it's so big, I don't have to, you know, spend a long time uh, t putting it on my face, putting all the toner and stuff. So the thing I don't like though is it's kind of uh, rough. So I've actually been using the Shiseido cotton pads and I've been liking them a lot more. It's just, they're a lot more expensive. So I probably will, be going back to these just because they're a lot cheaper. And they're not that bad. They're just not as soft as I'd like. And the last empty I have, I feel like I kind of went through this really quick, but I don't have that many. Um, so up and up again, um, nail polish remover in the non-acetone, it's the pink one. And I find that this is a lot less harsh on my nails. Uh, it's harder to remove um, my, my nail polish, particularly if it's like a glittery kind of um, nail polish, but I find that it's softer on my nails, not as harsh, and it also doesn't smell as horrible as uh, the one with acetone, so I've um, enjoyed this, and I've actually moved on to the nourishing one in the blue bottle, and... Um, or the blue liquid with the blue top. And uh, hopefully I'll like that one even more because it's supposed to have like aloe or some sort of nourishing ingredients in it. So yeah, that is it. Those are my empties. Um, yeah, like I said, not very many. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye.